In this quick video guide, I will show you how to use this VPN, which is called Proton VPN. And as you can see, it's really nice looking. It's really simple. It has this like um, science fiction interface, which is really cool. So let me show you from the start. First of all, we have to go into Google and search for Proton VPN. There it is. And we can access the official website right here from the top of the search. And this is the official website right here. So what you have to do is you, you have to, uh, well, you can actually log in already or you can do it later. Uh, if you don't have an account, you can sign up and create an account. So this will, uh, you will need uh, an email and a password. So you can also create an email to use for uh, downloading and starting and running this uh, software. Uh, then when you are finished the trial, which will be like seven days or something like that, you can create a new one and continue. It's a little bit frustrating, but you can use it freely in this way. Otherwise you can go right here. You can check the pricing of the various offers that they do. Uh, well, it says here you have also a free version. So probably you can also use a free version if you follow the steps. So basically you are here, these uh, four operative system. So if you click here, again, it will bring you to these offers and you will select get free and it should detect your, uh, well, yeah, Actually, it's asking me for the account. So I, you have to fill out all of this stuff and you have to create an account. And once you do that, you will be able to download the actual software and you can download it for Windows, Mac, Android also, and Linux. So you can install it also on your smartphone. And so it's cross, it's cross platform. You can use, um, username for different types of devices, as you can see here. Well, actually you can just check all the information that you find here in the main page or in the website. You have also a separate page. And as you can see here, you have all other um, information that you can check. So once you sign up and you insert all your details and also, you can insert generic details. So you don't have to actually insert your personal data. Uh, well, they will probably ask you for some more private information like telephone number or something like that, but you can also uh, bypass that. You cannot, you can choose to not give your personal information. So you have downloaded the software right here. So you double click and you proceed to the installation. There you go. So you, you can say yes and just follow the wizard for the installation. Well, right now I've already installed Proton VPN, so I cannot install it again. I can either remove it and then reinstall it, or I can repair it or modify it. But in this case, I will just let you go along with the wizard. It's really simple. You just press forward, 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 and you will install everything really easy, fast, and free within minutes. Once you do that, you should find the icon of your desktop or some maybe in the start uh, menu. So if you don't find it, just do a search in your start menu and you should eventually find it somewhere. Uh, but usually you will find the icon when you finish to install, you should find an icon on your desktop. So double click on the icon and you will open up the software, which should look like this. And if it doesn't look like this, you probably have to log in on something. So be sure that you are logged in, that you are inside, that you have inserted your username or uh, mail and your password. Once you are in, then you can just click here on quick connect. And that's all. It's gonna do everything for you. It's gonna automatically detect a server 
which will be the best solution for you. This means that will be probably very near to you. You saw Italy. In fact, I am in Italy. So in this case, it's, uh, it searched for uh, servers in Italy and it connected to this VPN from my country. Why? Why does it do that? Because this is the more fast uh, solution uh, and the more optimized. So it means that my download and upload and ping of my internet connection will not be affected too much for, with this setting. And, and why? Because it um, this is a signal that it's, uh, well, let's say beginning from Italy, stays in Italy, and then goes to the web. So it doesn't make too many um, trips into the world to be encrypted, encrypted more. But let's say that I was in Italy and I wanted to see a website in Italy that was forbidden for people living in Italy. So for example, I want to see YouTube, but YouTube is forbidden in Italy. Let's make this uh, assumption. So what I need to do, and this is probably the best uh, reason because I, I should probably use a, a VPN, is I want to change the location of my signal. So basically I want to send my information, my signal, my package from Italy, let's say to Iceland, and then back again. So in this case, I can like uh, avoid the block, avoid like a sensor or something like that. So basically I can go here on the left side of the screen and I can choose another server let's say in Denmark, or as I said before, I can go into Iceland. So I can look for a server right here in this left uh, panel in this list, or I can just click on the uh, world map right here. So I can click on Iceland and now it's connecting to Iceland. So right now my connection will look like I am connecting uh, from Iceland to the web to see a particular website. So now I can see, for example, a website that is forbidden in Italy because I'm actually virtually connecting from Iceland. And this is a, my virtual private network right here. So it's encrypted. No one can know who I am, my IP, my country, or let's say my uh, I don't know, um, operative system, my machine, anything. But of course, since uh, I, I am in this tunnel, no one can see me, but uh, when I will go, for example, in YouTube and I will insert my username and my password and whatever. So if I give there my personal data, YouTube will know that I am actually connecting to them. So the um, companies, when you get inside a particular website, which can be Gmail or can be Facebook or wherever, they will know your identity because you are actually logging in. Especially if you create accounts with your real name, your real surname, your real age and so on. So they will actually know everything, even though you are using a VPN. So the VPN is basically by uh, it's for protecting uh, your passage from your actual house to it, to the actual service. So no one can attack you in this passage. While when you connect into public networks, which are not protected, you can uh, actually be attacked or your data could be spied by, uh, I don't know, companies or hackers and whatever. So basically when you use a VPN, you are using a private tunnel into a public network, which is the web. And you can see everything else about the VPN. Just go to Wikipedia and see what all the other information. But if you are here, you probably know a little bit about VPN. So you can use a VPN, for example, on your smartphone when you are in airports, on public spaces to protect your connection. Or also you can use a VPN Again, as we said before, to protect your personal data, as long as you don't give intentionally your personal details to some website. And also you are protected when you will see this uh, lock 
in the website, which stands for HTTPS, and this is a secure and encrypted uh, connection to a secure and encrypted website. But of course, it's encrypted for everyone who it's in between, but not encrypted for you and the service that you are connecting to. So Google, Facebook, and wherever, they will know your details because they, they are at the other end of the communication. So another issue about VPN is that, yes, they will hide your personal details and where you are uh, connecting from and your IP and everything else, but they will actually have those uh, personal data, those data from you. So they will be, they will be the only one that will know your uh, real data. And so this is, uh, you know, you have to trust the VPN so much because you are actually giving them uh, all your secrets, let's say like that. So you can go using a VPN to like, let's say illegal websites, but then the VPN will know. So it's just a matter of how leaking is the VPN or how secure is the VPN. So you can also use a VPN leak test to see how much leaking it's coming from a VPN. If you want, you can find a lot of uh, uh, DNS leak tests. Uh, as you can see now, I'm actually, it's actually uh, appearing that I am connecting from Reykjavik from Iceland and not from Italy. So this is the test that will show that your uh, connection is actually encrypted. Okay, so other things that you can do here, well, you can change again countries uh, to see websites that, for example, are not forbidden in Mexico. So I can connect from a Mexico server and so on. And you have other tools here that, that you will find really interesting. And one last thing, and then you can um, go by yourself, is that when you connect from Iceland, you are actually connecting from Italy. So basically, um, your connection will slow down a lot. Your download, your upload, and especially your ping. So this is not good for streaming and streamers because this will be will have more, a really hard impact on the ping. So basically, why? Because instead of connecting directly from Italy to the web, I'm going to send all my uh, package. So what I'm asking for and so the download, the uploads and everything, not directly to the web, but going through another country, then going to the web, for example, to Facebook, then from Facebook to Iceland and to Iceland to Italy. So it's like doing double the distance that uh, a signal usually do. So this is why uh, you should find a server near you and if you can, also in your own country, unless you have to avoid a block or censorship, as we said before. So this is it about this video guide. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please subscribe to the channel and support us from the store, or you can find our PayPal link in the community page. And also check our other video guides and video playlists. If you go here on the top, you can see English video courses. You can follow our English video courses on uh, rendering and video editing, sculpting, 3D sculpting, and so on. And of course, leave comments, subscribe, leave comments, and questions, suggestions, anything is accepted. So anything useful. So thank you again for watching and see you in the next video.